I'm going to go over a couple of supplements that are extremely important for heart health and actually to help keep you from having a heart attack or having a stroke and a lot of people don't know about them but first I'm going to go over a couple of the common things and this is mainly directed at males because males actually are the ones that really seem to have the most heart attacks sometimes they're under the most stress because you know whenever the situation is uh, where does it end up on whose shoulders does it fall on it's actually the male and actually that's males don't seem to live as long as women I guess sometimes probably due to some of the stress so the only way males actually pay attention to the presentation sometimes is if we have young ladies with heart bikinis so we have hearts we have hearts to represent uh, what we're talking about on the subject matter here so that keep you focused but uh, I'm going to be brief on this because I go through a lot of different um, medical journals and I read a lot of information I've been reading this for many years and first I want to go over the real common stuff but there's two things I'm going to get to that are extremely important uh, which you probably see in the title but anyway fish oil is commonly well known fish oil has been known for a long time to help lower the, um, the triglycerides which actually leads to the cholesterol now cholesterol itself is not actually bad because despite what the doctors say because if you look at all the statistics from the Eskimos they don't have any heart failure they don't have any heart problems there they have cholesterol over 300 uh, fats are not necessarily bad depends on what type of fats I just want to put that out there because it depends on you know the garbage fats that are processed are the problem not the fish oils and things like coconut oil is another great fat to have olive oil and hemp oil but anyway that's a separate subject just want to go over that real briefly also uh, they will also know about the B vitamin complex they actually take extra B vitamins uh, B12 can actually reduce stress I want to get this out of the way first before we get into I talk about B12 and B6 niacin the B complex now the one thing that actually yeah you, know, you could be working out all the time you could be a person that goes to the gym all the time you can be the right weight you could have low blood pressure you can have low cholesterol say 120 or something you can be eating mostly vegetables um, or be almost a vegan practically and still have and still be eating uh, proteins from non animal sources and thinking oh wow I'm not gonna have any problem with heart health or arteries or anything like that so what I am saying here though is you will you will because what happens is, and this is where a lot of people don't even know this deal, what builds up in your body is a thing called homocysteine. Homocysteine is a body is a pro, byproduct of protein synthesis, and it builds up in your. It's part of the, one of the main things that builds up in the plaque in your arteries and veins. Homocysteine. So you could be working out, and actually, the more protein you're taking, I mean, it's protein's not bad, but I'm saying you have to address this problem of the buildup of the homocysteine, the byproduct from protein synthesis so the one thing to take for that is NAC NAC will help lower the homocysteine levels in the blood now homocysteine not only contributes to heart failure by clogging up the arteries or stroke by clogging up the arteries and veins or, or the heart itself the aorta but it also has a major role in macular degeneration your vision homocysteine which is like I said you could be thinking you're doing everything right you leave this out this is the uh, NAC N acetylcholine it's actually a protein okay it also also homocysteine is also linked to hearing loss so N acetylcholine is actually uh, something to take that can help you with preventing problems of hearing loss if you already have hearing loss I don't know if it's going to help you at all but it may it's not going to hurt let me put it to that way N-acetylcysteine. Uh, N-acetylcysteine. Now, um, the um, the thing, other thing with NAC, though, it can also, it will also boost your immune system. That's another thing, and a lot of people aren't thinking of that deal because uh, it can boost your white blood cells, your CD4 cells, and every other thing else that you know your your natural killer cells and your white blood cells so that's another side thing uh, besides so it can actually by having a strong immune system which uh, a lot of people's immune systems all messed up because of all the toxins and stuff and plastics and everything else that can help that can help 
Now, again, I mentioned with the omega-3s, the fish oil, that can also lower the homocysteine. But it's like a lot of people aren't thinking about the NAC. Now, there's another supplement out there, and you can get these from foods, but they're generally not that available in foods. And these supplements are cheap. I do not sell them. And the other supplement, the number two one I'm talking about that's not commonly known, is TMG, trimethylglycine. Just remember TMG. That's all you got to really look up. They're not expensive. You can get it like a year's supply of each one of these, like ten dollars each. I mean, that's that's how much you're, that's how much it's costing you. Not much. Depends on where you get it from. Just look online from a popular, reputable place, and you know you'll you'll find them. And TMG though. Now the interesting thing about TMG is that it will lower homocysteine uh, levels in the blood, but it'll also convert the homocysteine from the buildup that's already on the arteries it'll actually convert it to something that's actually beneficial something that's harmful to homocysteine it'll convert it not only in the blood but also on the plaque that's in the arteries to something beneficial and it's a performance enhancer i think it's called um tri dimethylglycine i think that's what it's called don't quote me on it because I forgot the actual uh, reference to that again, what the name was. But I'm very sure of the statement, though, that it does convert homocysteine into something that's a performance enhancer. So that's something else that's important, too. So if you take these two supplements, um, you know, it's, let me put it this way. I don't know if it's going to be guaranteed you're never going to have a heart problem or anything like that. But... You could have a heart problem if, even if you're doing all the other stuff you think is right. You could be saying, I'm eating healthy, I'm exercising, I'm the right way. In the meantime, your arteries are building up with this homocysteine byproduct from protein synthesis of the plaque. It's not all this homocysteine stuff, but it's a large part of it is from the protein synthesis and you can be exercised and you can go to the doctor and then three days later just drop dead of a heart attack because of a clog up in your aorta or something like that that's what happens typically so i just want to put this out here because these are two not well known supplements uh one being nac n-acetyl n-acetylcysteine n-acetylcysteine and it's also used sometimes where it helps with preventing hearing loss, prevention of, you know, it's not going to be guaranteed that you don't have hearing loss, but it's been known. It's actually per the doctors. This is not per, you know, the alternative people blogging something. I'm getting this off of medical journals. I've read it for many years, and I keep seeing new references to this all the time from the most responsible medical journals. I'm just putting it out here in a nice, simple, easy-to-understand way. NAC... Uh, will also help boost your immune system, uh, the white blood cells, the, the killer T cells, whatever the hell they are. And the, um, it will also help with um, preventing a macular degeneration of the eyes. It's one of the things that could help. And the other thing is um, TMG, TMG, trimethylglycine, which will convert homocysteine into a performance enhancer. So... You could be healthy as all hell. You want to lower these levels. You know they don't. They don't check this. They they do the they do the cholesterol. They don't even. I don't even think they check the homocysteine reduction levels. And you need to reduce that because that's what's really clogging up your arteries rather than the cholesterol. The Eskimos have typically. I, you know, I guess I shouldn't call it Eskimo. I think of it as Eskimos. They're the Intuit Indians, I think. That's the proper name. But nobody knows what I'm talking about when I say Intuit Indians. But um, you know, they eat a lot of the whale blubber and the fats and stuff, but those are good fats. Their cholesterol typically is over 300. They virtually have zero heart disease. I mean, I don't know, you know, I'm actually telling, I'm actually taking the side of the doctors that are telling me something that seems to be extremely factual, but ignored, largely ignored, but not by every professional doctor. But the problem is most males won't read these medical journals and stuff. So you can follow along with me here and get the information about heart health in a proper fashion and just in uh, a very succinct way. But again, these supplements are not much money. It's They're like 
$10 for a year's supply of NAC, $10 for a year's supply of TMG, roughly. That's all it is. You, you just take one pill a day, and it's probably a very smart preventive measure to do, So, but not well known. So more directed at the males. But females will definitely, definitely, definitely benefit by this, yes, because I, I know males don't aren't the only uh, ones that get heart attacks, but it seems to be more prevalent amongst males. And they are not being told this by their doctors, even though real doctors, real medical professionals are writing about this in medical journals for many, many years, how important these two, two supplements are and are cheap. And they have a number of other uses besides uh, lowering the homocysteine levels, which is not just about heart attacks, but hearing loss and macular degeneration of the eyes. So anyway, hopefully you pay attention to this message, and if you want to spend 20 bucks on a couple supplements for a year's supply, it's not going to break the bank, um, and I do not sell anything, and I don't have any financial connection to this stuff at all. It's just stuff that I do, and I've researched for many years, so I just want to pass it on.